How to get kids interested in the world around them. National Geographic Kids strikes again. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. With us from National Geographic Kids Books Team is assistant editor Emily Fago. Hi, Emily. Hi, good morning. How are you? Terrific. Well, you are out with a new title. That's Factastic. Mind-blowing, eye-popping, jaw-dropping stuff about our world. It's a fun and fascinating book. Tell us a little more. Yes, I, this is a great one. I'm really excited to share it with everybody. Um, I love that it is themed. Each spread is themed. So we've got baseball, basketball, Amazon rainforest, anything you can think of, everyone's going to have a favorite spread. And we really focus on kind of the strange lesser known facts in this book. So you can really open it, read it from front to back in any order you want. So there seems to be a little bit of everything here from geography to anatomy to lots of weird stuff. Uh, tell us how the content was put together. And who told you that you can make cheese from the stuff in your toes? <laughs> I know. I do have to say that's one of my favorite facts that uh, you can make cheese using bacteria. Not you personally. Scientists can make cheese using uh, bacteria from human toes and belly buttons. Um, really, we had a whole team working on this book. We had two writers, researchers. Uh, we had a project manager that helped keep all the facts organized. And the designers and photo editors did a wonderful job bringing this book to life and really making it pop. Well, how do you decide what goes in and, and what doesn't? And is there anything that's like too far out? <laughs> Well, I think we can make a lot of things work. Uh, we were able to um, include a very, like we said, a wide variety of book of um, topics. And I think what was important of, is keeping them really snappy, bite-sized facts that you can just, they really stick with you, like the, the cheese facts uh, about the making cheese from bacteria from your belly button. That's just one that sticks with you. So um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's a great one. A few others. Uh, the, the Amazon is so dense with vegetation, it can take 10 minutes for rain to reach the ground. Basketball was first played using soccer balls. And you can taste garlic with your feet. Really? Yeah, those are some interesting ones. You don't have taste buds on your feet, but it's it's an that's an interesting fact um, about how it, it seeps through your skin and gets into your bloodstream and then ultimately you can you can taste it. So we, all of our facts you can look deeper into them and do your own research. These are kind of just little starters um, to get that conversation going. And those are some particularly fun ones that you just read out. Well, it sounds like you have a kind of a fun job. I understand your mom is an elementary school teacher. Yes, she is. She's wonderful. She's a third grade teacher. Um, I definitely grew up being quizzed on math facts uh, most of the time, but uh, I continue to learn from her and her kids are incredibly intelligent. And I've gone into her classroom a few times and had the chance to talk with them directly. And um, it's really helped to get a, get a better sense of our readers and how I can provide content to them as an editor um, that they'll think is fun and sometimes adjacent to their curriculum. Sometimes not so much, but it could still be really fun to learn about all the wonders of our world. I'm sure that's a real treat for the kids when you show up there. So I'm assuming your mom, as you, as you said, helped to foster your interest and curiosity. So what's your message to parents when it comes to trying to spur that kind of interest uh, with kids very often kind of vegetating in front of a screen? Yeah, I think it's really important, first of all, to get out and explore with your children. Um, you know, no matter where you live, you can have a backyard with tons of trees or, you know, you can live in a city and there could be pe pigeons pecking at the sidewalk. There's there's ton to learn from any environment. And it's really important to ask questions and encourage your children to ask questions and Kids do naturally ask a lot of questions. They have this innate curiosity and you might not always have the answer, but it's a great opportunity to learn together and, and work together to find that answer. Just terrific. Is there a site people can go to to get more information about this book? And you've got lots of other titles too. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Uh, you can find this book wherever books are sold. Check out your local bookstores. But yes, you can also find it online. Um, and we have tons of other exciting titles that are, I'm sure everyone will love. They're great gifts as well. Well, congratulations on the work that you're doing here. Emily Fago, thanks for spending time with us. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me.